what is up guys this is karan here welcome back to tech karan youtube channel now the world has everyone has android 11 right now is it worth it to install android 10 but yes i will say yes because android 11 is not stable out there for almost every device it has little bit of maybe minor bugs and also if you talk about the android 10 android 10 is super stable and you should definitely use it if you want to right now in my redmi note 8 i'm using cold enigmas which is cold os as you can see this is cold os v6.5 by mg712702 minnel we have the october security patch with this latest build and you should definitely install it or not it has a little bit of customizations if you're a redmi note 8 user and redmi note 8t users you can install this build in this video we're going to take a look at this how you can uh, what are the things you get in cold os latest build let's get started okay guys this is code enigma's latest v6.5 if you go to the settings option this is actually the vanilla build you will not say you will not get the google apps pre-installed you have to install on your own we have a lot of google apps package available pico nano opengl apps almost everything you can go and install this if we talk about this launcher we have the enigma launcher by team code which is based on aosp launcher 3 which has a version 10 right now and these are the some credits which you get in this launcher this is the launcher which is kind of a different launcher so that's interesting thing we don't get the normal shady launcher launcher pixel launcher aosp launcher quick step launcher this is something different has the enigma launcher so it has some little bit of customization by the way like the icons little bit of customizations the home screen has a little bit of extra options app drawer has a little bit of extra options miscellaneous have a little bit of extra options available too this is kind of really interesting thing all the main special features are perfectly fine here and this room comes with some little bit of features so we're gonna talk at the talk take a look at all these features one by one we have a lot of things available right now in my case i'm using it i'm using the google apps so there that's why some usb apps are disabled i've disabled them all so that looks interesting by the way we can use the pixel launcher also if you want to this is a space which you get by default here this is the default space which you can also change the launcher or has a lot of settings which you can set if you want to in settings as i already told you a lot of customization features which you get here Talking about the camera, we have this default camera option available, which is the MIUI camera, which is not the ANX camera, which is from the MIUI 11, you can say. And everything else is fine. Camera has almost every lens perfectly fine, so no issues here at all. Including that, some of including some of cool kind of things which you get here. Let me tell you by going here, go to the wallpaper section. We have the cold wallpapers options available just just once and if you see the collections we have the pubg wallpapers available that looks really interesting we have a lot of pubg wallpapers like this and if you see here these are some cool looking wallpapers if you're a fan of pubg and want to install these kind of wallpapers you can install them directly without having any issues these are the wallpapers which are pre-installed and looks really really interesting these are the things which you get in the latest cold os now let's move on to the settings if we talk about the things which are working or which are not working i didn't face any major bug at all the thing is the room is perfectly fine here you can see my volty is even perfectly fine here i'm using idea carrier and volty sometimes support and sometimes not supports but in this build it's supporting volty so that's also very interesting thing from my case network and internet connected devices have the same kind of thing you will see these kind of animations look interesting this is available in everywhere like this network and internet bluetooth and apps and notification also has the same kind of thing we have this battery option which have the battery stats smart charging option is available that's uh, sometimes a very impressive thing for all of the users sometimes an important thing if you are worried about your battery and you want to charge your device at night overnight this is a very interesting interesting thing and important thing for some of the users display has almost same kind of features nothing else to customize sound storage privacy location has nothing to customize but when you go to the security tab screen lock fingerprint and including that we have the app lock option available too so if you are if you are a user who regularly use app lock you can use this build and you don't need any third party app to install app lock and to app to lock your apps in your device so some cool kind of things are available 
accounts, accessibility, digital well-being, etc. Also, including in Xiaomi parts, we have extra features right now available. These features were not present here. We have the USB fast charge option enabled. These are the features which are present in some other devices like right now I'm using Redmi Note 9 Pro also and their Xiaomi parts has this option USB fast charge already available but the Redmi Note 8 got this option right now so features are available right now if you want to try it out. We have the Cold and Ejima option and if you want to check out all the customizations I have a lot of videos on Cold OS you can go and install them. Customizations you go and watch and customizations are nothing else changed status bar buttons lock screen and also including that these system customizations nothing else to look at I will not show you all these customizations because every customization is same like the other customization features and if you want to see customization which are the customizations you get here I will recommend you to watch my previous videos on cold OS these were the things I just wanted to share with you I hope you like it if you like it don't forget to like and share this video now thanks for watching goodbye